excited because here with her top five trending topics for today from Mix 96.5, please welcome Sarah, Sarah Pepper. Pepper. It is about time. One of the most beloved radio people. How in sweet Houston. are you? Seriously, we've been trying to get you on the show forever. And huge congratulations, you, Jeff new team. Lauren, in the morning. The new team is all together. Tell us about the new show. So the new show is myself, Lauren Kelly, and Jeff Sheen. Yep. Uh, Lauren Kelly and I have known each other for nine years. Jeff is in from San Antonio. There's a nice pick of you three. Aww. Oh, I'm wearing the same jacket. That's so great. <laughs> How well did I do we that? Loved it. And of course, we had Lauren on our show a couple days ago. Love her. L O V E, love her. And you're gonna have Jeff soon. And Jeff is such an amazing guy. So it's really fun. I really enjoy it. Well, congratulations. Thank you we very love much. Okay, so let's get into what's trending. Okay. What are you going to hit with, hit us with today? First off, we have to talk about stop selling cell phones, because if you steal a cell phone, you are going to get caught, especially at Coachella. Who thought that was a good idea? Said no one ever. This guy didn't steal not one, not two. He stole 100 cell phones and thought, you know, it's going to be fine. What well, was... Didn't people like do their, where's my iPhone? Find my phone. <laughs> Find my phone. Someday I will tell you the story of when a phone was stolen outside of 19th Street in the Heights, and we definitely tracked it down, and they Holy will find crap. it. Well, wait a minute. So is this guy just a kleptomaniac? Was he collecting them just Where because? Where did he put them? Or, or was he trying to sell them? Well, and the thing about Coachella is, is I don't know if it's the same as every other festival. You have a clear plastic bag. Did you put them in the clear plastic bag, and no one was like, hey, who's the guy with the 100 yeah, cell phones? people like out on their blankets, they're having a good time. I bet he put them Maybe. in his pants and kept Paying coming attention. and going and sweating. Oh, is that a pocket? Is that a cell phone in your pocket? I'm just kidding. So he was caught. He has been arrested. His mugshot is definitely priceless. Second thing is, and this woman was in Houston. I was lucky enough to be able to host her a luncheon that she did here for Girls on the Run, which is an amazing foundation here in Houston. Her name is Catherine Schweitzer, and she was the first woman ever to run the Boston Marathon. Now, little known fact, 50 years ago, women were not allowed to run the Boston Didn't Marathon. Didn't they like, chase her down when she did it the race first time? saw her at mile 1.8 chased her down. When she actually finished the Boston Marathon this past week, on Patriot's Day, she did a live shot when she was actually at that mile marker and said she thought she was a lot further into the race was not also sidebar that was not the story she ran it with her boyfriend at the time he was running too slow so she left him no way. <laughs> yeah. But she actually had a really good time because she's, what, like right around 70 now? She, se she hasn't run a full marathon since 2011. She was like four hours, which is an amazing time. That's faster than my two half marathons added together. And, yes, yeah, she's 70-ish. Well, and also, when she did run first time 50 years ago, that race r official who grabbed her, he, he didn't think women should run marathons. So right. she's a total pioneer, and uh, we so are so cool. proud. I'm so her. proud of her. Second thing, we, I, now I'm on board with that. Third story we have to get to I'm not on board with. I saw this on Cosmo and I thought it was an absolute joke. Oh, no. It's called Feather Brows. I've seen this. Excuse me? Yes. I hate you rock the unibrow. Oh, it's so like, bad. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> it's so bad. So no. apparently you're supposed to put hairspray on your eyebrow and you separate them. And that is supposed to be a new fashion trend. 49,000 likes on Instagram so far. Okay. If you have time to do this, you have way too much time on your hands. I mean, is this really a trend? Are people actually doing this or is it an Instagram joke? I tried it this morning <laughs> um, <laughs> and I was so embarrassed I washed my face again. I hope it dies. But yes, I, I think I agree with you, Derek. I think it's something people are just trying. How long yes. did it actually take you to try it, though? Okay, so it was 3.15 in the morning, so it took <laughs> me about five minutes. And I got hairspray in my eye, and it hurt. So oh. I don't recommend doing it at home. We want to get to Stephanie Rice. She's on The Voice Yay. last night. Amazing job if you have not seen her yet. Yeah, yeah, she did. And in fact, we happen to have a camera there at The Voice, even though we could not attend. And uh, why don't we roll the tape and see what Stephanie had to say. Alicia is this beam of light and you gravitate towards it and you feel this nurturing warmth from it and I, f I feel like the best way to describe it is the analogy of like there's this door in my heart that I didn't know existed and she's opened it and I feel set free. I feel that I don't have any fears and I get to just be me. Every bone you break, every step you take, I'll be watching I have been overwhelmed with the amount of love and support that I, I've received and you guys are the reason why I am here. This process has been one I cannot explain but one I could not do all alone. And I feel like everyone's just prayers and positive energy has helped carry me all the way to top 12. Oh, man, she was just so awesome Monday night when she Amazing. did that Every Breath You Take. By the way, it is up on iTunes. Um, so I cannot wait to see what she does on Monday. Remember, you got to vote for her, so make yes. sure you download the app and, of course, watch on Monday and Tuesday night.
Okay, last right topic, here. Sarah All right, Pepper. so here's the deal. Um, Lauren Kelly's going to be peanut butter jealous right now because this is the <laughs> new unicorn drink from Starbucks, which, by the way, is the second trending topic right now in the country. It is the number one drink. It's sweet and fruity, tangy and tart. It's a magical drink that changes colors. Are Ooh. there artificial colors in this, or is this Absolutely really not, Derek. It's magic. Okay, um, okay so not it's, artificial. it's supposed to change color when you stir it, right? Yes. So going See? from, what, purple to pink? Um, oh. I think so. It's available now if you want to get it at participating Starbucks. Are we going to try it together? And what is this, like $9? Um, you know how much it's it free because it's, and I have no Whoa. idea how much it is. How much? <laughs> probably. $5. Probably about $5. That's what your producer's saying. I'm going to go with that. Okay. Somewhere around $5. Well, well Sarah Pepper. Mm. While we enjoy um, our, our it's sugar super rush. Cold. We want to talk, talk question about the of question of the day. Yeah. Yeah, there's a new thing since we are here in the Galleria. We've been asking people the question of the day. And uh, today's question is, name one food you refuse to eat. And why? We asked some people here at the Galleria, this is what they had to say. I don't like radishes. What do you have against radishes? I don't know. I don't like them at all. Well, they don't like you either. I know. They probably don't. My secretary sits and eats them all day long. I can't stand them. Kiwi. Yeah. Why kiwi? Because uh, it stops me from breathing, so it's good to avoid. Yeah. <laughs> When we were little, my little sister was in her car seat, and we were on a road trip, and she ate cantaloupe, and then she threw up everywhere. So now nobody in our family can eat cantaloupe. I don't like okra. It's too slimy. Any melon and, can and cu cucumbers are the worst. Any melon or cucumber. So you don't like, is it the texture? It's just like the, the taste to me. It tastes, they all taste the same, and they taste like the way bug spray smells. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, so verdict on these. What do you guys think on the? I love it. Unicorn actually, unicorn frappuccino. Yeah, I think it's actually pretty good. But I think I would be embarrassed to uh, carry it around and drink out of it. And but I'm giving it a pass. <laughs> we always want you to join in the conversation. You can share your comments with us on Facebook. Just search for Houston Live TV. Sarah Pepper, congratulations on the new show. Thank you. I've never felt shorter in my life. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. Are you kidding me? Thank you guys for having me. It's been a blast. And a reminder, you can listen to Sarah weekdays in the morning starting at 5.30 a.m. along with Jeff and Lauren. That is the morning mix. Jeff Sheen, Lauren Kelly, 96.5. Sarah, thank you so much. Thank you guys. Come in anytime. Yeah, and coming up next,